the Maricopa County Recorder, is proposing some changes to Arizona's election process and protocols. They're aimed at speeding up tabulation of results and trying to get the race results faster. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia has the details. It took nearly two weeks for Maricopa County to finalize the November 2022 election results. And officials blame in part the high number of late early ballots. Those are the early ballots that were dropped off on election day. Then that still has to come back to us. We have to image it. We have to scan it. We have to signature verify it. We have to audit it. We have to send it to a bipartisan ballot processing team. And only then can it go ahead to central count tabulation. County recorder Stephen Richard proposes a change to the law requiring early ballots to be turned in early. And when we're getting so many of them as we did in the last election, then that means that you have a sizable percentage of the results that are not available on election night or within the first 24 hours. Nearly 300,000 early ballots were dropped off on election day last November. That's 20% of all ballots cast. And the county recorder also wants to expand the use of tabulation machines. Currently, they can only be used to count ballots on election day, not during early voting. Richer said as expanding its use could also catch any glitches. Maybe some of those issues that happened on Tuesday election day would have been identified on Saturday before Tuesday when there were far fewer people and then maybe that could have been remedied prior to the Tuesday election day. Arizona's new Secretary of State Adrian Fontes issued this statement, like all proposals I will give it the consideration it deserves. Ultimately state lawmakers have to come up with a bill which has to pass the legislature and be signed into law by the governor during this session for any changes to take effect for the 2024 presidential election year. Reporting in Phoenix, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.